<laughs> yes, I consider myself very happy, and uh, I've done that many times in my life. Do you think happiness comes at a certain age to a woman, or do you think it comes with a set of circumstances? I think many people are very happy, but they quite they are not. They don't realize it at the time. You know, they always talk about the good old times or something. And uh, I think we should be very grateful for for the time that is now. We should realize what we have this particular moment. What is it that you do have now that makes you happy? I have my children, and they're well. You see, I consider good health very important in life. And I have a husband whom I love and who loves me, and I have a happy home. And I live where I want to live, which is in France and in Sweden. And I have work. Why do you live in France? Oh, I like that very much. I don't know. When I was very younger in Sweden, before I went to America, I always dreamt about coming to France to live. I don't know if it was because I was inspired by Joan of Arc, and I've heard so much about La Douce France, but uh, actually it's been the country that I always longed to live in. And of course the, it was a long road because I went from Sweden, America, Italy, but finally I came to France. Miss Bergman, you have an advantage over many actresses in that you can speak several languages. Do you find there's any particular language in which you enjoy acting most? English is the easiest. Of course, Swedish might be easy too, but I haven't done it for so long. Mm. Maybe I have an accent by now. <laughs> but uh, English is almost like my, my own language. Do you find that the parts you can play in English are the parts you want to play, or do you have to look to other languages for parts sometimes? No. No, I don't. I mean, they are translatable. You know, or, or I played Hedda Gabler in French, for instance. It isn't that I look for a French play and, and to play it in French. And Tea and Sympathy, I played on the stage, and it was an American play translated into French. So that makes no difference. Which part have you enjoyed playing most of all in your career? Well, there were many of them, you see. I, it's easier for me almost to tell you the parts I didn't like. Well, tell me that. <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> but um, Joan of Arc, as I say, she has always meant very much for me. And uh, I think that picture and the play and the oratorium that I did, and I also did it here in London many years ago. That meant very much for me. And then I must say that Gaslight, For Whom the Bell Tolls, and um, Anastasia, uh, well, I don't know. There are so many of them that I, I don't know. It's now that uh, you can choose practically any part you like, is there any part you particularly want to play? I look particularly now for something that's amusing, because I feel that we, we need to make people laugh. Or it has to be something so important, really great, so that people feel something. But it's so difficult to find those subjects. And I'd rather do something that is uh, a funny picture than something that doesn't have some real profound meaning. Do you look for parts to play uh, uh, where the character is about your own age? or do? You... Oh, yes, of course. You can't get away from your own age. And especially in a picture, you might be able to cheat a couple of years if God has been good to you. But otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, I think you better stay. I mean, on the stage, I know that you can get away with many years difference. It, somebody said to me the other day that an actress can't really act until she's old. Would you agree with that? Well, no, I don't. I think there are young actors, young... Uh, I have seen so many marvelous performances by young people that are 25. And, but, uh, of course, one hopes that with the years we mature and we have more experience and that we have gone through maybe more things because I do think that, that uh, we take from life and from what we've gone through to portray certain feelings. So we, we should be able to be a little better as the years go by. If, if given that one is the sum of one's experiences, which I quite agree with you, is there anything you would change in your life if you could, if you went back over it? Well, it depends upon now. If you mean I should go back over my life, not knowing the life I have lived, then I would live exactly the same life. If I, if I had a new life and, and I would be conscious that this life I have lived this way, I'm sure that there are certain things I would change, yes. I mean, I might be able to have <laughs> learned something. <laughs> is, there any, um, is there any quality which you, as a person, try to bring to your acting, which you think is very important to acting? Uh, I think uh, a heart, a uh, warm feeling towards the character you're playing. I mean, that you understand it, because if you understand the character that you're playing, then the audience should be able to understand it. So I'm very clear. <laughs> 
and uh, logical in my thinking. And then I think it's the sense of humor that I try to bring to any character, even, even a tragic character. I think there has to be a little humor in it. You say warmth, Miss Bergman. Now, Scandinavians are always supposed not to be able to show their feelings very well. Is, is that true of you? Of yes, you? they are supposed to be controlled, but uh, not, uh, not to, to be cold people. They seem cold, maybe, because we are not easily excited. We, we don't uh, uh, get into a temperamental fits. We, we are taught, as children, not to show our feelings, and maybe it's in a way it's good, and in another way maybe it's not so good, because we also maybe don't always show a warm feeling towards a, a, a person. We're afraid to, to just lay ourselves bare, so there might be a lack of generosity. Um, you know what I mean? <laughs> but it isn't, uh, it's just a, a, an education that you're not supposed to just, you know, scream and yell or cry too much or laugh too much. No, I think I, yeah. They come the golden middle. Miss Bergman, thank you very much indeed. <laughs>